Good day, Grade Fours. Welcome to our MST lesson. And today's topic is energy around us. Do you remember this about the sun? That green plants are able to convert sunlight into food by the process of photosynthesis. That animals then eat the plants to gain energy. Have you thought about this? If the sun disappears, all the plants will die. Then that means all the animals that feed off the plants will die. Then all the animals that ate the plant eaters would die. Life on earth depends on the sun. And that's just a little food chain um, where the sun gives off energy to a plant, gives us energy to a monkey, or well, I see a monkey there, and give off energy to a leopard. Now let's look at energy around us. Energy is all around us. Our senses make us aware of the energy around us. We see, we hear, and we feel the effect of energy. And we will be looking at different types of energy around us. First, we look at light energy. Light energy allows us to see objects. It is the form of energy that we can see. Okay, and also we spoke about the light energy from the sun, which allows us to see each other during the day. I hope you remember that too. Sound energy. Sound energy is the form of energy that we can hear. As I'm speaking right now, I'm giving off sound energy. When you listen to the radio, that's a form of sound energy. Anything that moves has movement energy. So when a car is in motion, we say that it has movement energy. When you are running, we say that you have movement energy. Another word for movement energy is kinetic energy. Let's move on to another type of energy, which is heat energy. Heat is a type of energy that we can feel. If you take your hand and put it closer to a hot stove, you will feel the heat on your hand. If you stand closer to something that is quite hot, like a heater, you will feel the heat energy. And lastly, we look at electrical energy. Electrical energy is needed to operate electrical appliances, which give us different types of energy. Such as our light bulbs, they depend on electrical energy. Some of our electrical heaters, our television, and our radios. Let's move on. These are the five types of energy. Movement energy, which is kinetic energy as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Electrical energy, light energy, thermal energy is the same as heat energy. <coughs> Excuse me. And sound energy, which allows us to hear. On page 118 in your NST textbook is an activity. This activity has given you pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. Has given you pictures which shows different types of energy. What's lovely is that they've also given you statements. So you don't have to think and create your own statement. They've given you picture one, which is a girl holding a torch. Picture two, which is a girl listening to the radio. Picture three, it's a young boy there who's sitting next to a heater. And four is of a young lady playing soccer. 
all these pictures have statements which matches them perfectly. Activity two, the heading is identify types of energy. Please do not forget to write the heading. Question one says, look at the pictures one to four. We have looked at them. Question two says, match each of the sentences below with one of the pictures. You have statement A, B, C, and D. And I'm going to read statement A only. Statement A says, the energy in sound travels to our ears and we hear the sound. So you will take that statement and match it to the correct picture. If you think the statement matches picture one well, then you're next to picture one, you will write the statement. If you think it matches picture two very well, you will write the statement next to picture two. And this activity should take you about 15 minutes of today's lesson. All right, then we have to move on to learn about sources of energy. Where does all of these five types of energy come from? Well, it all differs. Sources of energy is something that we get energy from. These are the most common sources of energy. We have the sun. The sun gives energy to the plants. It gives us light energy to see each other. And it gives us heat energy to keep us warm. And we have food. Food is a source of energy for our bodies. If someone is running, they have movement energy. But what is the source of their movement energy? It is the food they ate. So that means the food they ate gave them um, energy to run. Coal is a source of energy for most of South African electricity. Electricity is burnt and the steam is used to trigger a turbine and that goes on and gets to our homes. We will learn about electricity in grade five and how it is generated in grade five. We use petrol, paraffin and liquid petroleum gas as source of energy. They are made from a special oil called crude oil. And I'm sure you've heard about this crude oil on our daily news. All these are the most common sources of energy for the five types of energy that we already discuss, which is melts, M-E-L-T-S, melts, movement, electrical, lights, thermal, which is also heat, and sound energy. Let's move on. Energy can be transferred. A energy can go from a source to where it is needed, and this is called energy transfer. When energy transfer takes place, one type of energy changes to another. Sorry, my little emoji there has blocked the word another. Can you think of types of examples of energy transfers? And we can discuss this in class right now. Once we're done discussing, we have to look at page 119. Page 119 has got a, a lovely activity which links to our previous activity. And the heading for this activity is identify sources of energy. They have given you picture A, B, C, and D. Picture A shows food. Picture B shows batteries. Picture C shows a gas cylinder. And picture D shows a radio on an electricity mains. And all these are sources of energy. And they have a connection 
two pictures on page 118. I'll give you the first one. If you were to look at picture, pictures on 118, picture one is of a girl who has got a torch in her hand. Where does that torch get its source of energy? What does this torch need to actually give light energy? It needs batteries. Where are these batteries? They are on picture B on page 119. So I've just matched the light energy on page 118 to the battery that this light energy needs before it gives off light energy. And this is what this activity is all about, matching these pictures. But first, let's read question one. Question one says, name the source of energy in each of the pictures below. Okay, well, it is actually above. This textbook is wrong. <laughs> name the source of energy in each of the pictures above. So you will look at picture A, B, C, and D, and you write here what you see. What you see is actually the source of energy. Two says, match each source of energy with a picture on page 118. And I have here pictures on page 118, and that those are picture one to four, which you need to re-look at and match them to the source of energy in picture 119. And I've done the first one for you, remember? I said picture one matches picture D because the torch gives off light energy, but it needs batteries to give off light energy. Let's move on to question three. Question three says, make a list of the objects that you see in your home to get light, heat, and sound. Okay, question three and question four actually are a link and that's why I've created a table for you. Once you're done giving off the object, in my home for light energy, I use a light bulb and I would put a light bulb over there. Some children, or someone out there is using a candle or a paraffin lamp to light up their home at night. So you write the object which you use at home to get light energy. And then you have to give us the source of energy for this object. Where does this light bulb get its energy from? What makes it possible to give off the light energy? And I will put here electricity because electricity is the reason why my light bulb can give me light energy. So basically that uh, that's just what I use, but I know you will write your correct answer over there. That's it for activity three, basically. I've explained everything you need to know. You're more than welcome to reverse the video and listen again if you like. Do we have homework? Yes, we have homework and this will be happening tomorrow at home. And this is on page 120, activity four, and the heading is, discuss examples of energy transfer. There's a picture there of children on a campfire. You need to look at that picture and answer all the questions. There's only question one to four, so there's nothing really to worry about. It's everything I spoke about, extremely easy. However, if you have a question, you can drop a comment and I'll get back to you before the homework is due, I promise. Otherwise, if you are in class, you can raise your hand and I will attend to you. Don't forget to ask questions. Hey, that's the only way to get clarity. That's it from me, beautiful children. And thank you for sticking around. Remember, be kind, be respectful and stay safe.